Hello and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to be answering the question of why cybersecurity is important. I've thought long and hard about this and my perception and my understanding of this has grew over time. And I think it's only now, after a few years in the industry, I'm beginning to really understand and unpack the real reason why cybersecurity is actually important and fundamental to life as we know it and life moving forward within this new technological age and I think the best place to start with this is the human element or the human factor of why cybersecurity is important. So I guess fundamentally you can look at a data breach or an incident where data is exposed or leaked online and there's a few different perspectives and angles you can look at that from. Now earlier in my career I'd look at it from a kind of financial perspective, how it affects the company, what they have to do to comply with the relevant data protection protection laws but it's only now that I'm really starting to realize that data breaches have a unspoken element about them within the industry you often have data breaches trivialized as this many gigabytes of data or this many records or these many names or these types of information was leaked but a link between those records and the actual human impact on a particular individual is slightly disconnected within the industry I think there are so many data breaches that happened and that expose people's personal details, their address, their health details, and it can certainly put them within harm's way, or physical harm. So there's a few different examples that have happened and that we know of, and there's a few that can be self-inflicted in, in some sense because people are exposing their own details. So popular examples might be with certain celebrities, let's take Pop Smoke for example, he posted a picture which contained a package which had his address, similar things have happened I think the other one was PNB Rock that might have been his partner or his girlfriend or wife at the time that posted their location online and people tried to rob him and steal from him and take his, his jewellery or items that he might have had cash etc and ended up murdering him unfortunately rest in peace to both however there's a different side that I want to mention but let's just say a data breach did happen and it contained a lot of personally identifiable information so let's just say there are vulnerable people in that data list there are maybe children there are probably people that might be in some form of protection or do not want their address exposed online there might be i don't know witnesses in a case there might be part of legal disputes for example if records or evidence in court cases etc or information about people involved is exposed online that has some obvious ramifications for that if addresses are exposed with names and numbers of certain people that can easily lead to harassment and possibly physical danger or people trying to harm them and if medical information is exposed about specific people then you know that could lead one to their insurance being denied maybe possibly rejected from some jobs or business deals because they have an underlying condition that prevents them from doing that thing the employer or whoever would look at that person in a different light with that information revealed so let's say someone's applying for medical insurance or life insurance or something along those lines and then they had some information about possibly a medical procedure or something they might have applied to or maybe some sort of therapy or counseling that they might be part of that indicated depression or anxiety etc that gives those insurance providers some ammunition to either reject their claim completely deny them insurance reject life insurance claims because they're more prone to suicide etc and all these checks can and normally are easily done on people and due diligence it happens with insurance providers and medical providers so a data breach could impact someone's ability to get treatment or be denied of certain opportunities because of their personal information being revealed online now those are some horrific things of course um, but I think it gets worse like if for example young adults children vulnerable people essentially vulnerable people if we put them into a category if information about them and specific information about their vulnerabilities and issues they might have is also compromised 
has and breached and is publicly available and then they also have addresses and phone numbers you have to think of the treasure trove that is for a certain kind of individual who would use that information to exploit those people those children to harm abuse etc so it could essentially provide a very bad and disgusting person a list of their next victims literally and ways to access them and more information about their vulnerabilities and other things so i think cyber security in general is rarely looked at from that kind of angle and i've had some conversations with some really smart people who really care and look at it from this perspective and this drives them and gives them a bit more reason to do what they do if you take all those things into consideration and just unpack that a little bit there's hundreds if not thousands of examples of ways in which people could use data against the average person of course there's a financial fraud pretending to be somebody else etc etc but i think the health and safety the actual physical harm that has resulted because of data breach is something that really motivates me the human impact of data breaches is one of the main reasons why i think cyber security is important in the coming years as more and more of our services and reliance on the internet and computers and cloud computing and everything else kind of increases especially with phones and our digital footprint it essentially becomes more of an issue and i think it's not necessarily just one company being hacked and their data being posted online in isolation but it's more what can a motivated and sick individual find about a particular person and piece together all the data breaches and correlate that information and cross-reference and start to build like a picture about that person or a family or a vulnerable person or child that is very possible with the information that is available publicly on the dark web and it's a horrible thing to really digest and understand but I I think is one of the main reasons why cyber security is important at least to me and to a lot of people working in the industry and your own cyber security should also be important for this very same reason is that giving people or giving companies information about yourself should be tightly controlled and not a decision you take lightly and you have no idea how secure a lot of these companies and services are they could easily lose everything and then that could impact you or your family or someone you really care about somebody close to you so yeah another thing and i'll just give it a quick mention is i guess the monetary side of things so there's two angles we can look at this cyber security is important because if you learn the skills and you get into a role or a job especially with some experience it can be very rewarding financially but i'm not going to be talking about that but from the other perspective of it can cost companies a lot of money the penalties the regulatory fines the legal issues and liabilities that can be brought on a company who neglect the data under their control is actually really crazy and it could put a lot of companies out of business and a lot of services out of business and even to operate within certain markets you need to demonstrate a minimum level of cyber security so the monetary aspect is very important because if companies don't get it right they can't really do business or nobody will trust them or they can't even get access to a certain level of clients or grow beyond a certain degree and I think for a company to move forward within the digital age it's almost like being on a pedal bike and having brakes on the bike you can cycle you can accelerate you can get faster and faster but if you don't have brakes on the bike how are you meant to even get to a certain level of speed or maneuver corners or do certain tricks on the bike maybe you know you can think of cyber security as those brakes as something that you have to allow you a degree of comfort to be able to reach certain speeds I've seen this analogy used in a TED talk. I will link that below. I think they used a car, but I think a bike is more damning because you're kind of physically exposed and more harm can come to you if you were to fall off that bike. And I think that's a very important thing because companies can't operate or move in certain directions without having at least the barriers in place and the knowledge that they have those brakes and those controls that will work and be applied when needed. So yeah, privacy is a human right at the end of the day. Okay.
Um, it's important for companies and service providers to go as far as they can when it comes to protecting your data. And I don't just mean being compliant with the bare minimum they need. I mean, actually take it seriously and not treat it as a tick box exercise. If companies make the commitment to cybersecurity, not from just a legal, a regulatory point of view or a standard or doing it so that they can win big contracts or whatever it is and actually focus on the human element of cyber security and not want to cause harm to anyone i think we can all create a better future with that perspective so yeah cyber security is important because it affects you your family everyone around you it's a human right to have your personal information protected it's a human right not to have information about your health, your address, your phone numbers, your emails, ways where people can contact and access you publicly exposed in ways you don't want them to be. And at least if and when it is, you are notified and you are aware so you can handle that appropriately. It's also important that people can't use your information and haven't got easy access to your information to then commit fraud and other crimes with your name or pretending to be you. So yeah, cybersecurity is really important. Just a quick video today I wanted to talk about the human element of why cyber security is important so I hope you've enjoyed that one interested to hear your thoughts in the comments please like and share and just remember there's a human element to cyber security and that is why it is important not because of any law or any framework or any monetary value it's because privacy is a human right and we should look at cyber security through that lens try and protect as many people as we possibly can over and out i'll see you in the next one